Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. This is a game from um let's think Monday night when I was playing with Tim and Torsten, who are Timature 1972 and Tolatag021. Um I was playing ships that I don't play a lot, so we're out in the tier four Nicholas, which I think was a reward from the Halloween event, I think. Um I can't actually remember. But it's a tier 4 American destroyer with three sets of torpedo tubes. Um, I'm running it with Vincent Mordoff. And um, the destroyer, the, the, sorry, the torpedoes are very much like the French torpedoes, where you get two sets on one side and then one set on another, which makes for a little bit of interesting play, a bit of twisting and turning. And the reason I was playing this one is because literally this is my third battle in this ship and I think I've had it, like I said, since last October or November time, which shows how little I have played it. And the only two games I had played in it were both defeats. So um, my win rate um, was pretty much zero um, in this one. So we decided we would give it a go and see if we could uh, find some room for improvement. And what an improvement we did get out of this. But um, it didn't look like it was going to start well because I'm running straight into an island. We're popping smoke. We're playing this very, very aggressively. And I'm talking serious aggression and one of the reasons i'm playing ships that i don't play a lot of is to try and add ships to my kraken ships lists and watch this game because you'll realize how unfortunate i was in not getting that out of this game because that guy there takes a whole load of torpedoes but doesn't quite die and so we're trying to get a fire on him and either Torsten or Tim I think is going to pick up this kill there we go and uh, that is um, kill number one gone um, unfortunately not to me but this was a fun division game we just wanted to get out and smash some stuff up we worked our way up we did a three four five six seven and uh, had a nice hour and a half of sort of gameplay which wasn't too bad i played a couple of games before that in the evening and i think we ended on eight wins and one defeat which isn't bad going up from the lowers to the higher tiers but here we go this texas is there i've got him on fire my torpedoes are reloaded and i'm going to pop them out of there thinking he's going to come forward and we are going to get so unlucky with that guy too um but i need to be doing the spot and we know there's still a destroyer out here that destroyer can't torpedo me he's at a huge disadvantage because we can see him we can shoot at him but the um, battleship turns out broadside and gets slapped and um, yeah he would have been pretty much exactly where my torpedoes are heading which would have been kill number two but he's gone as well but we are going to get a kill here because this guy is going to try and run away he's going to try and stay out of the way of the torpedoes but that isn't going to work and now we've got the nevada who is panicking because he's watched half of his team or rather yeah a third of his team pretty much disappear in front of him and he realizes he's in trouble i'm checking how long i've got for my torpedoes to come back watching this guy turn knowing that he's trying to get his guns round onto me because who doesn't want to shoot at a destroyer and that is exactly what he's going to do so we get the torps out again the torpedoes are running we get a bit of a batter in there we trade what's that about 20 percent of our hit points he gets slammed off tim and torsten in their battleships the torpedoes are looking good but they're not even gonna have a chance to get there so that's another kill that has disappeared so it looks like we've got a pretty solid lead and i said well okay if you move towards the center and support the guys that are on um, alpha cap in the middle and then i'll go down and we'll slap an aircraft carrier around a little bit at least that was my thinking let's just say the aircraft carrier 
had the same idea about slapping my little destroyer around when I got down the map. But we can see his torpedo bombers coming in. Um, I don't know what the AA rating is on this, but I think I did manage to shoot down at least a couple of aeroplanes. But most of Red Team are across there on the far side of the map. They have a destroyer, a cruiser and two battleships. And uh, yeah, they're going to have a little go at us later on. It, we aren't going to have this entire game our way. So I'm twisting and turning, just keeping my eyes on where this carrier is coming from. I know there's a cruiser out here. There's the bombers coming up as well. And I know that I'm in trouble now. And I'm just hoping that I can potentially um, sink this guy before he sinks me. We've had a very aggressive opening few minutes of the game. But we have absolutely trounced the guys that were on our side of the map. And not to let this Cosmolet get away unscathed. If he does sink me, is I've only got five and a half kilometer range torpedoes on this, and he is going to get a very, very good drop on me. So we're just trying to get the guns on the go. Everybody knows where I am because I'm obviously firing my guns. Um, the reason I'm firing my guns is because the carrier knows where I am. Everybody else is pretty much out of range, but look at that. He absolutely slaps me. And I realized that I need to take care of this guy before he takes care of me. Um, Cosmolet's, what is it, tier three carrier, but he's obviously been practicing because he knows what he's doing. We get a Citadel with HE there. We get two sets of torpedoes out because we think he's on the back of the map, but no sooner do we fire those torpedoes, the guy has started moving. And Red Team's cruiser is going to come and try and help this guy out. His secondaries, I think, are going to start popping at us soon. We're going to try and stay on the guns. We've been hitting them with HE Citadels. We've um, managed to get a fire on, so any fire now is going to stick. Try to get as much on as we can. We've got that one rack of torpedoes on this side left. Here we go. Boom. But one of the other sets is loaded. He misses his torpedo drop. Minor on the way. We're going to pop that smoke. Move away. The cruiser is having a pop at us. We can see him coming. So one last salvo out there. Damage control that. Turn away. Use the smoke. Drop detection. And get away from that cruiser. We kill the carrier, but he is not done yet, I do believe. He still has one set of planes up in the sky, but I'm not hanging around to find out because I don't want to be in on the end of the HE salvos from that cruiser. But here he comes with another bomb run. I'm panicking. He misses. The cruiser can see where I am on the minimap, but thankfully, due to wargaming, breaking the spotting rules um, it means that I'm safe from that cruiser you take it back or take the clock back um, what two updates that wouldn't have been the case I would be dead by now and we wouldn't be having the game that we haven't but we've picked up a high caliber on 88k and I'm going to spam some torpedoes out towards the Gano, um, but you'll notice that Tim and Torsten are coming through the middle of the map and um, yeah, that Agano is about to get absolutely punished. And I'm laughing now because I was laughing then. Because I'm thinking, that guy does not know what's coming. And then he was gone. So, two things I could have done here. I could have pushed round to the right and gone across to the far cap. But I decided to come back because I haven't got the hit points to get into a fight with the other destroyer because it is also a Nicholas and he has a lot more hit points than I do and unfortunately he is going to get his way with Tim and Torsten um, I think that is Tim that's left there Torsten I think did eat um, a load of torpedoes but our carrier is all the way across there on the other side of the map. He is heading away from where the trouble is. Uh, Tim has managed to get the cap flipped again. And uh, I'm pushing back to support as best as I can. It isn't going to be 
perfect support. There's only so much I can do. There's only so close I can get purely because I took a probably 50% hit to my hit points from that carrier bomb drop. But with him out of the game, it is going to make winning this game that a little bit easier. I'm calling out the fact that I'm located, which means that I am closest to the destroyer. There is a Nevada out here as well. There's the torpedoes from the um, red team, Nicholas. I kind of was saying to uh, Tim, pull back, pull back the only short range torpedoes back out of his range. And uh, then he's got to push in and potentially make a mistake. I'm on 88,000 damage here. I said we've got the high color, but we've got a huge collection of ribbons there. Um, and we're going to sneak and spot this battleship. There he is. The Nevada so we're going to put the, those two sets of torpedoes out there we're going to try and keep them spotted and get turned around and get the other torpedoes out as well in fact I think I said it was three sets earlier I'm not sure if it's four let's have a look is it four it is four sets of torpedoes not three but as I said they are only short range and uh, thinking that Nevada might turn to avoid I put a set to the left we fire our guns let them know that we're there we get a couple of good hits, we get a couple of floods, and now I need to move away because I'm sure that Nevada would polish me off and that would put me in a whole world of trouble. But we're going to try and get some shots across the top here. Um, I can't hit the destroyer, but what I can do is get air fire onto this Nevada. We were literally calling our carrier for assistance here we didn't know what the heck he was doing or where his planes were there's another fire on the nevada but tim goes out of the game now we are talking risky business we've got a 170 point lead there's a lot of time left on the clock and uh with just me on low hit points and a cv remaining if that destroyer goes after the CV, spots me on the way, it is absolutely game over. Thinking about putting torpedoes onto that corner, but we can't waste them. We need to make sure that we can get them on this guy. We can see that he is still burning. Our damage record, or our damage total, is still ticking up. And yes, because I'd only played two games prior to this in this ship, this was um, a new personal damage record and stick around for the end screen because I was absolutely shocked at uh, how much base XP I finished up with this one. Torps are running on the Nevada. The fact that he's turning makes me think that the, the destroyer is out in front of him. I can't afford to fire my guns, but I get lucky. I get a torpedo hit, a flood, and then a second hit, which gives me my third kill of the game. So had those torpedoes run on those two battleships a little bit earlier, this could have been a kraken. I had to mute my microphone there. I had a bit of a coughing fit. Um, so... Now that we've got a carrier in the game, and they don't, the carrier can keep their destroyer spotted, and knowing where he is means that I can move away from him. So what we'll do is we'll skip to the end of the game. Um, or do we? Do we just let it roll? Because, no, we'll skip. Fast forward, coming up. Three, two, one. So we're in the closing seconds of the game. We've got torpedoes running towards that guy. He's well out of range. And uh, I'm going to do the usual thing of give the guy a 21 gun salute just as the clock ticks down so we can see where I was. He's not going to get shots on me. It's game over. Just under 129,000 damage there with the three kills and a high caliber. We shot down a fair number of planes in that one. Um, so I'm guessing the AA is quite good. And I think I will play some more of this because it actually isn't a bad ship. But there we go. We smash through 3000 base XP on this one. More than double what um, Tim has there on the uh, Texas and that's just to go to show how terrible my stats are on that ship 
but the best bit was that we took away seven kills out of the eight that were made seven kills out of the potential nine for the team as a three ship division and that was an absolutely outstanding result for me tim and torson hope you've enjoyed it smash the like button leave me a comment subscribe and until next time take care and goodbye